YouTube. What's good? It's Miss Jordy here, and today I've got the five common mistakes that new NBA 2K players make. If you're just starting out on NBA 2K20, you want to make sure you watch this video. And even if you are an old head 2K20 player and you got it like I did at release, look at these tips. Maybe if you've made some of these mistakes, don't make these mistakes anymore because I got you covered. Let's get into the video. So first and foremost, guys, I know what you're thinking. You just got 2K20. You spent all this time making a brand new build. Well, it's already May. You're a little behind, so you want to hop in the park as quickly as you possibly can. And immediately, it's a double rep event. Look at it. It's dime time right now. And you get on the spot, but before you go, what them badges looking like, though? All right, you guys, now already off the rip, you're making your very first mistake. Do not go into the park without getting your badges. Maybe in old 2Ks of past, it was okay to go into the park with no badges. Maybe you can make some shake, but legit, you need your badges in NBA 2K20. So here's my best advice to getting those badges badges you want to play my career i know it sucks maybe you have a squad for rec center but if you're new to the game maybe you really don't to be honest so when you first start out you're gonna make your build go through the prelude if you want to maybe you don't go through the prelude to be honest i've skipped the prelude every time after i first started it Mix me with this boy. Yeah. Yeah. Boy. well maybe once or twice i didn't to be completely honest you want to go to my career and what you're going to make sure you're going to do is you're going to do the drills after you play your games make sure you don't skip out do the drills at least in We're the beginning until you get comfortable now the next common mistake that i see a lot of new nba 2k players make is that they run the default jump shot <laughs> oh my gosh yo i don't want to play in the park and see somebody playing on my team i'm known for playing with randoms i'm not gonna lie to you i don't want to see nobody shooting like this I definitely, we definitely do not want to see you shooting like this. Now, all you're going to want to do is go ahead and head over into your My Player Appearance. Check out the animation store. Find a couple of jump shots, maybe one in particular that you really like. And use that jump shot. Give it a try at my court. Give it a try in some of these drills. Let it work for you. Or you can check out the thousands of YouTube videos that go over the best jump shot. Just a simple Google search or YouTube search will yield you all the results. Everybody makes a new jump shot video every single day. But more importantly, you want to make sure you pick out the right jump shot. Because if not, as Lori Lightfoot said, your jump shot is always going to be weak. Stay out the parks, bruh. The next mistake that I see so many new NBA 2K players make is they make a build that they think can do everything. And realistically, the build can't do a thing. A lot of people, when I first started out on the game, I saw a lot of prospect builds. Now, I'm not going to break down every little thing about a prospect because there's really nothing to highlight about a prospect. You can check out one of the millions of YouTube videos that already discuss it, but don't make a prospect 
don't make that mistake make a build that works for you make a build that you can win with make a build that you think you're gonna have fun with because at the end of the day it's all about having fun and again if you are a sinner like me you should check out some of my videos about being a sinner if you like to play a point guard maybe check out somebody else's youtube videos about being a point guard but make a build that actually does one thing or two things really well specifically i like to play defense and shoot i'm trying to pick up some dribbling so do some shooting do some defense a glass lock works out for me because the glass lock can actually shoot if you want to dribble and slash well maybe a slashing playmaker is going to work out for you who knows but don't make a prospect <laughs> don't do it save yourself the, the sanity and save yourself the trouble trust me you'll thank me later mistake number four when you first join the park you got your hopefully at this point you listen to the video and you got your badges you see a facility next door to you if you didn't play 2k19 you don't know what this is but if you did play 19 which is almost basically the same as 2k20 you already know what the gatorade training facility is now the difference in this game compared to the last one is you actually do your workouts weekly but realistically in this game now they expect you to do a set of drills i wanted to share with you guys the drills that i currently do the ones i think that are the fastest and can get you back in the neighborhood as quickly as possible starting off with the hurdles those just simple stick movements left stick right stick doesn't take too much i don't think i've ever got anything below a plus four on that so you know you can take my advice you don't have to but i suggest those sprints or the treadmill i don't like tapping buttons a lot or <laughs> at all because i get fatigued boy if you don't get next up battle ropes i don't like this one that much but i <laughs> I don't like the other drills that are under the stamina option to be 100% honest and I also don't like box jump so box jump and battle ropes I definitely would say you guys use your own discretion but you can use your own discretion on all of these drills but these two are definitely not my favorite and shout out to wise telling me to do the dumbbells because if it wasn't for him I would definitely still be struggling on my strength workout again the boost lasts you for an entire week it's great i don't have to do any more drills but if you're somebody who really likes to play my career you can actually get the gym rat badge once you beat and complete an entire season so win the championship get the gym rat badge never do drills again or you can hit ss3 i'm on the road to ss3 right now so just keep that in mind if you want a little bit of a shortcut or if you don't like to sweat it out in my career then you'll probably have to do your drills until you hit ss3 and for my final tip of this video which you will not want to forget look how enticing swags looks yes sir you over there walking up just smooth as can be no ladies in this game technically unless you play in the WNBA, but you want to be the drippiest my player in the neighborhood. You pull up, you only got 5,000 VC left, so all you can really buy is a pair of glasses and a cap, hey, but you still going to buy anything. it. Right, Pause. It. No, you're not. Stop what you're doing. Don't make this number five mistake. Don't buy outfits just yet. I know I've got a Durant jersey on, but I bought that one because I'm in a different place than you are. So don't compare me. Don't, don't compare this to me. But keep your brown shirt on. If you feel like you're at a good place, you got your jump shot, you got your badges right, you've already done your drills, now buy some boost. What's more important? Is it the drip? or winning part games and getting good games in. You wanna be known as that random or that new guy on the block that actually won with his teammates who really weren't sure if they wanted to play with you. Just my two cents of advice, buy the boost, make a difference, get the dubs, get your VC back off of the boost, and then go to Swags and get Jerpy. Okay, do you feel me? Yes, so that's going to do it for my five tips on NBA 2K20. Did I miss something? Let me know. 
I would love to hear what you guys think are some of the mistakes you've ever seen new players make or maybe you've made when you first started playing 2K20 or 2K19 or whatever 2Ks you've played before. But also everybody, if you're new here, make sure you leave a subscribe down below. Leave a like, comment again. Tell me what mistakes you've made in 2K20. I'd love to hear them and I'm going to reply because y'all know how I am. But with all that out of the way, make sure you check out some of my other videos on the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.